Hi. This is going to be about half an hour practice, good all around yoga flow. We're going to start mindfully, then we're going to work with some eagle variations, my favorite eagle sequence to challenge the balance and uh, find some beautiful detox. And then we're going to finish with some openings. Um, so, good all around, about half an hour, vinyasa, yoga flow. No need of any props, just your mat and we can go get started. Let's start from the all fours right away. So, hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Couple of cat cows to connect to your breath. Spread the fingers wide. Inhale, start to melt your heart, open your shoulders, tailbone pointing up. Exhale, tailbone under, press the hands down, hug the ribs in, round your spine. Inhale, melt your heart, open your chest, broaden your collarbones. Exhale, round, connect to your core, tailbone under. Inhale, arch through your spine. Exhale, around, hug the ribs in, spread the space between your shoulder blades up. Inhale, follow your breath. Exhale. One more, inhale, open your heart. Exhale, around. Come back into your neutral spine. Really neutralize your spine. Spread the space between your shoulder blades up to the ceiling. Gently hug the ribs in. Keep the shoulders open. Lengthen the right leg back behind you. Keep the right toes stuck under. And now send your left fingers forward all the way up to the ceiling. Turn the palm facing out. And then reach the fingers forward. Return. Keep going. Navel in and up. Nothing changes in your lower body. You are just twisting from your waist. Nice and sunny here. <laughs> Let's go to more. Really press the right hand down to open your chest a little more. And return the fingers down. One more. Open. And return. Let's add on the leg. Now lift your right leg para parallel to the floor. Flex the toes down. Rotate the inner thigh up to the ceiling. Reach your fingers all the way up behind you. Bend your right knee and see if you can hold your foot. And then we extend again, fingers reaching forward and down. Keep the right leg floating off the floor. Inhale, open your chest, reach back, bend your knee, find your foot. And exhale, extend, sending the fingers up and all the way in front of you again. Inhale, open your chest, look back, find your foot. Exhale, return, extend your right leg back behind you. And last one, we gonna hold. So hold your foot. Try to maybe grab from the outside so your shoulder is well out of rotated and then gently start to kick the foot behind you. You can look to the side, you can look forward, whatever is better for your neck. Feeling the stretch on the left shoulder, really grounding the right hand, the left shin down. Nice. Now try to press the right heel closer to your glute, but keep the knee lifted. Navel in and up and really find your quad stretch here while maintaining the balance. Navel in and up, lift the knee a little higher. Release this. Relax the, release the left hand down and now cross the right thigh over your left thigh. Knees crossed, open your feet a little wider and sit back to your cow face, shoelace. If you need to, you can always uh, lengthen the left leg too, or keep both knees bent. Try to find your sit bones on the floor. Reach your left fingers up to the ceiling, bend the left elbow with your right hand. Hold the left elbow to bring it a little further behind your head. Chin away from your chest to open your heart. Breathe here. Maybe bend your right elbow down and try to hook your fingertips. You can always hold your shirt as well if you don't quite reach your fingers yet. 
Maybe close your eyes and take a couple of inhales and exhales here. If your elbow is behind your head, use the back of your head to push the upper arm back just a little more to feel the stretch. Beautiful. Release. Rotate the shoulders back and down and find your way back into your all fours. Hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Inhale, melt your heart, open your chest. Exhale, round, tailbone under. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Come back into your neutral spine. This time, extend the left leg behind you, left toes under, hugging the navel in, keeping the hips, the lower body really square. Reach your right fingers forward all the way up. So the palm is facing out and you are opening your chest. Exhale, lower down. So nothing changes in your lower body. You are twisting from your waist, from the thoracic spine. And back to the center. Okay, reach forward. Open your chest. Exhale, return. One more inhale. Press the left hand down and exhale. Let's add on the leg. Float the left leg off the floor. So to reach your fingers forward up, bend the knee behind you, find your foot. And again, extend center fingers in front of you. Tap it down to the floor. Inhale, open your chest, bend the knee, find your foot. And exhale, reach and keep the left hip lifted. Try to remain the hip alignment, the squareness. Exhale, return. One more inhale. And now really hold your foot if you can from the outside so your shoulder is well out rotated. And start to kick the foot behind you. You can always look back to the side or in front of you. Feel the stretch on your right shoulder. Even weight on your left hand, the right shin. And then start to press the right heel, or the left heel better. Left heel down and lift the left knee a little higher. Feel your quad stretch, but good support from your lower core. Navel up to your spine. Release the right hand down, cross the left knee over your right for your cow face. Really cross your thighs, your knees, open your heels and start to sit back. Try to find your sit bones on the floor. If it means you have to extend the right leg, the bottom leg, feel free. Get the sit bones grounded on the floor. Take a moment here to settle. And then reach your right fingers up to the ceiling, bend your elbow with your left hand. You can pull the right elbow a little further behind your head. Again, take a moment here. And then maybe bending the left elbow down, try to find your fingertips, hook them or hold your shirt. Maybe close your eyes. A couple of inhales and exhales here. If your elbow is behind your head, use the back of your head to intensify the stretch. Nice. A release. Rotate the shoulders back and down and find your way back into your all fours. Inhale again, arch your spine and exhale around. Come back into your neutral spine. Now tuck your toes under. Really hug the ribs in, lengthen the lower back. Hover the knees off the floor, just few centimeters. Now lighten the right hand off the floor and tap the left knee with your right hand five times. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go to the other side. Try to stabilize your hips and your shoulders. Left hand lightens off the floor, knees floating. To your right knee for one and two. Three, four, and five. Release. Start to lift your hips up. You can walk your feet back a little to your down dog. Paddle your heels. 
Open the back side of your legs, side bodies. And then come up higher and higher on your toes. So really lift the heels high up. Bend your knees and send the chest back towards your thighs. Widen your sit bones up to the ceiling. Really creating this enormous length for the side bodies. Keep this length. Start to extend your knees and press the heels a little closer to the floor. Beautiful. Release the knees down once again to all fours. So make sure the knees are right under your hips. Let's do the same thing. Hug your ribs in. Broaden your collarbones though. Lengthen the lower back. And hover the knees of the floor a few centimeters. Now hover the left toes of the floor. Right hand taps the left knee five times. For five, four, three, two, one. And the other side, knees floating off the floor. Lighten the right toes. Left hand taps the right knee. For five, four, three, two, one. Ah, release. Lift your hips up to your down dog. Feel free to battle your heels once again. And start to find a stillness. Roll the body weight forward into your high plank. Now lower the knees down, hug the elbows in 90 degree. Lift your knees off the floor, floor and press yourself back into your plank pose. Hips up to your down dog. Bring the hips down, shoulders forward, high plank. Lower the knees down, hug the elbows in 90 degree, lift your knees off the floor, you are in your chaturanga, press back into your plank and hips up to your down dog. Again, hips down and forward, plank pose, knees down, really hug the elbows in, bring the weight forward, knees off the floor and press back into your plank, hips up to your down dog. Let's do one more. Hips down and forward. Lower the knees. Hug the elbows in. Knees lift off the floor. Press back into your plank and exhale. Hips up to your down dog. Take a breath. Soften the knees. Look forward. Step your feet forward between your hands. Feet are hip distance apart. Soften your knees a little. Grab your opposite elbows, let your head hang down. Really bring the weight a little further forward to your toes. Try to bring the hips on top of your heels from the side. And really just allowing the lower back to open. Now, interlace your fingers behind you, squeeze the heels of your hands together, start to extend your elbows and send the pinkies over your head. Bend your right knee, bring the hands over to your right. Right shoulder inside your right knee, feel the left shoulder a little more. And come back to the center. Hands over to your left, bend the left knee. Feel the right shoulder a little more. And come back to the center one more time. Squeeze the heels of your hands together or closer together. Send the pinkies over your head. And release the hands to your lower back. All the way down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, relax the neck. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Arms over head. And exhale, hands together to your heart center. Let's do my favorite equal sequence here. It's a really beautiful, re-energizing detox sequence as well. And really challenging your balance. So let's go. Inhale, send the arms up over your head. Exhale, fold forward at your hips. Inhale, hold for lift. Hands down, step your feet back, flow through your vinyasa if you feel like bringing the knees down, always feel free. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, lift your hips up to your down dog. 
bring your toes together, heels together. Inhale, lift your right leg up to the ceiling, three like a dog. Exhale, knee into your nose, shift body weight forward. With the control, step the right foot between your hands, turn the left heel down and come up to your warrior one. Set your fingers up to the ceiling. Really lengthen your side bodies. Try to square your hips, right hip back into the center line. And now reach your left fingers forward, pull the belly button up to your spine. Sit down a little deeper, weight on the right heel, really feel your psoas. Equal arms, right over left. Cross your elbows, bend, bring the hands together if possible, cross your thumbs and straighten your wrist. Sit down a little deeper again. Right hip back, inhale, elevate your elbows, bending up to the ceiling. Exhale, round down inside your right thigh. Inhale, press the right heel down to lift the elbows up, open your heart. Exhale, round down inside your thigh. Inhale, lengthen the lower back, open the upper back. Exhale, aim to get the elbows a little closer to the floor. And inhale, bring the elbows back parallel to the floor. Lift your left heel off the floor, rotate the left inner thigh pointing up to the ceiling, really square your hips. Lean the body weight forward 45 degree. You can always take a little hop forward and then start to find your balance in your warrior three. Reaching the fingers, elbows forward, feel your shoulders, flex your left toes down, rotate the left inner thigh up to the ceiling. Bend your right knee, bring the left knee into your chest, body upright. Right away, cross the left thigh over your right thigh, sit down a little deeper, maybe wrap your left toes behind the right heel if that's available for you. But most important to cross your thighs. Sit down a little deeper, pull the left thigh bone back and up, knees to the left, upper body, arms to the right. Lift your elbows up a little higher and maybe round down over your thighs, aiming to get the elbows over your knees, shoulder, shoulders above your knees. Sit a little deeper, weight on the right heel, even reaching the fingers a little closer to the floor. Make your body really small. Slowly make your way up to your equal, find your balance. And only then, release, feet together, arms up over your head. Exhale, hands together to your heart center. Close your eyes. Take a couple of inhales and exhales. Observing. And most of all, receiving. Feel the detox. Beautiful, open your eyes. Send your arms up over your head, sideways. And exhale, fold forward at your hips. Relax the neck. Inhale, half a lift. Hands down, step or float your feet back. Vinyasa, hug the elbows in. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Bring your toes together, heels together. Inhale, send your left leg up to the ceiling, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to your nose, control to step the left foot between your hands. Turn the right heel down, come up to your warrior one. Sit the hips down low, send your fingers up to the ceiling, pull the left hip back into the center line. Try to square your hips, weight on the left heel, reach your right fingers forward, pull the Belly button up to your spine and feel your psoas. Cross your elbows, left or right, equal arms, hands together if possible. Straighten your wrist. Sit down a little deep, hips stay low. Inhale, elevate your elbows, putting up to the sky. Exhale, roll down inside your left thigh. Inhale, press the left heel down to help you to come up. Just the upper body is moving. Exhale, roll down. Aim to get the elbows a little closer to the floor. Inhale. 
Bring the body upright, open your heart. Yeah, exhale, around down. Inhale, just bring the elbows back parallel to the floor. Square your hips, lift the right heel up, rotate the right inner thigh up to the ceiling. Find a better squareness now. Lean forward 45 degree. Maybe take a little hop forward and start to find your warrior tree. Right leg active, really flexing the toes down, rotating the inner thigh up to the ceiling. Send your fingers forward, elbows forward. Feel your shoulders here. Challenge your balance, reaching opposite directions. Bend your knees, right knee into your chest. Bring your body, bring your body upright across the right over the left. Wrap your toes behind the ankle if that's available for you and start to pull the right hip back and up, knees to the right, upper body arms to the left, gently to align. Lift your elbows up a little higher and maybe start to round down over your thighs, making your body really small, aiming to get the shoulder blades, shoulder blades maybe the armpits over your knees, reaching the fingers further down, sitting low. The weight on the left heel. Slowly with the control, make your way up. Again, find your eagle upright. Sit down a little deeper. Shoulders back. Ah, release. Feet together. Send the arms up overhead. Hands together to your heart center. Feel free to open your feet, hip distance apart for better grounding. If that serves you better, close your eyes and again take a moment to observe, receive, slow down your breath. Inhale, send the arms up overhead, side base, and exhale, fold forward, relax the head. Inhale, half a lift, exhale, hands down, step your feet back directly into your plank pose, and then we're going to lower all the way down to the belly with the control, hug the elbows in, slowly, slowly, in one straight line, lower all the way down onto your belly. Nice. You can bring the hands down under your forehead, bend the elbows to the side, release your forehead down and just move your hips side to side, side to side. Nice. Now open your arms out to the side, palms are facing down. Bring your heels together, auto rotate from your hips this time. Think like a Pilates V. So squeeze the glutes together, sit bones together, and auto rotation from your hips. Really engage your knees. Keep the right leg on the floor. Start to lift your left leg up. Keep the left hip on the floor first. Only lift as high as you can, keeping the hip on the floor. And then slowly, slowly, you can start to lift the hip off the floor as well. Start to bend your left knee. So you really want to open the left knee to the side and bring your toes a little closer to your right fingers. Trying to keep the shoulders close to the floor. Left shoulder might lift a little, but try to keep the chest as square as you can really lifting the left knee left thigh up so the left knee closer to the back of your head <laughs> nice toes reaching towards your right fingers and then really slowly when we come back start to extend the left leg start to lower the left hip down still the left leg floating off the floor as we came in and lower the left leg down. Same to the other side. Again, engage your knees. Press the top of your feet down. Outer rotation. Start to lift your right leg off the floor. Only as high as you can, keeping the hip on the floor first. And then you can start slowly, slowly to lift the right hip off the floor, trying to keep the right shoulder close to the floor. Start to bend your right knee behind you. Now the toes are reaching towards your left finger. So really lifting the knee up towards the back of your head, keeping the shoulders as square as you can, reaching the fingers out 
finding the twist, still working hard. Yeah, slowly. When we return, start to extend your right leg, start to lower the right hip down, slowly with the control, still keeping the right leg floating off the floor. Ah, release the right leg down. Bend the elbows to the side, hands under your forehead and move your hips side to side, side to side. Open your right arm to the side, palm facing down, fingers in line with your forehead. Bring the left hand by your ribs and start to open the left shoulder, left hip. You can bend the right knee behind you. Take a moment here or bend both knees, bending up to the ceiling, lift your hips and move your hips towards the center line. Take a moment here, let the head rest on the floor. If you feel like with your left fingers, you can try to reach to your right fingers, flexing the right fingers up, really flexing the wrist. As an extra here, if you need more. And slowly release. Take your time to turn back onto your belly. Bring the arms down by your side, palms facing up. Turn your head over to your right, left ear, left cheek on the floor. Allow the shoulders to drop down. Take a breath or two. Now let's go to the other side. Open the left arm to the side, palms facing down, fingers in line with your forehead when you look to the side. Use your right palm to press down to open the right shoulder, right hip. Bend your right knee behind your knee, pointing up to the ceiling. Stay here. Or if you need more, bend your both knees, lift your hips up and move them towards the center line a little. Let your head rest on your mat. Then you always have the option to reach your right fingers back, flex your left wrist and find your fingers. Flex a little more, only if you need extra. And take one more breath in slowly. And exhale completely. Release slowly. Lie back onto your belly. Arms down by your side, palms facing up. Release the right ear, right cheek down. Allow the shoulders to drop. Nice. Bring the hands on your shoulders. Press yourself back to your hands and your knees. Walk your knees forward. Hips down to your heels so you can send the legs in front of you. And right away, a light on your back. Hug the knees in. Finish with happy baby. Happy ending. <laughs> so just rock and roll side to side first. Happy baby. Bend your knees about 90 degree. Elbows inside your knees. And then you go over your feet and grab the outer edges. Flex your feet so your uh, heels are pointing up to the ceiling. And then gently start to pull the knees a little closer to the floor while lengthening the back of your neck, your head, and your tailbone down. You can also think of squeezing the knees in first to your shoulders and then pressing a little closer to the floor. You can always extend one leg and bend, extend the other. 
and bent, maybe extending both. Bent, and the happy one here. Just rock and roll side to side. Release the lower back, your hips. Bring the knees together. Hug the knees in. Give yourself a final hug. And then slowly release into your final savasana. Stay in your final savasana as long as it's good for you. Take at least a couple of minutes to receive the beautiful benefits of your practice. So no judgment, no need to go through the practice in your head anymore. Just enjoy the feeling, receiving the beautiful benefits. Before you leave your mat, say big thank you to yourself. Take care. Namaste.